Okay, it's nearly time. This is the Dragon Age gameplay reveal. Instantly, the music at this little countdown actually sounds really good. I'm quite liking this. Um, hopefully, the gameplay is about to live up to it. Let's jump in. This is your first look at Dragon Age The Veil Guard. The following footage was captured from software in development and takes place very early in the game. It's been edited for brevity and to avoid any major spoilers. Awesome. So this is probably Min Marathos. people as you claim. She's the best damn detective I've ever met. If she says she's got a lead on Solus, I believe her. So we saw this yesterday. The brief little 24 seconds they released. So yeah, this must be Min Marathos looking for Neve. Should we be in more of a hurry to get out of here? We don't want to look conspicuous. Just get out of here nice and casual. Find Nev Gallus and stop Solus. So this is going to look a lot more magical than like castle or runes and whatnot because this is Tavinta. Rook, level 1 rogue, backstory Shadow Dragon's custom appearance. Okay, so yeah, they announced that there's six backgrounds, almost like origins. You can choose from. You still from. think you can talk him down before he starts his big ritual? That ritual is going to tear down the veil. The only thing separating us from the Fade and an endless number of demons. I have to talk him down. Halt. Wait! But I didn't do anything! Get down! Are they after us? Is it because of the bar? Word travels fast in Minrathus. We've got to help her. The voice does not suit a young looking character. I will say that it's very gravelly and sounds very. We have time to get arrested, especially. Like a veteran. before it finishes. Let's go! Oh, we're bumping into Solus at level one. Running's this way. She'll get us to Dumont Plaza. Watch out! I would assume then that Solus isn't the big bad in this game because if we're bumping into him in level one, that's very unlike is Solus summoning demons on purpose? the other games. I guess the veil is weakening and they're slipping through the traps. And when the veil comes down completely... And the whole world is going to look a lot like this. Come on, this way. It should get us to Harding. Alright, so the art style is very stylized. I see what they're saying. I'm not sold or unsold either way. You're safe now. Get inside and bar the door as quick as you can, okay? Thank you, miss. Harding, you all right? I've been doing what I can to help. The ritual must be weakening the veil. There are a lot of scared people out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the Fade in years. And what about you two? Are you okay? Oh, so you've got a wheel like Dragon Age 2. I hope it's better than that. We're good, but we need to move. Agreed. Solus isn't waiting, neither can we. Have you got my gear? Right over there. So how do we know Where's Harding? Where's Nevgalus? Wasn't she at the meeting point? The Venatori got to her first. They grabbed her before we arrived and paid off the bar owner to keep it quiet. I'm not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages, but their timing stinks. The bar owner said the Venatori took Nev to Dumont Plaza. Can you get us there, Harding? Rook, you're with the Shadow Dragons. I figured you'd know Minrathus better than I do. Sure, but Minrathus is huge, and this is nowhere near my neighborhood. I can try. Don't worry. Scouting's my specialty. Follow me. Eyes up! Okay. That company. See, I'm hoping the DA2... The combat, or not the combat, dialogue wheel was better. Because in DA2, you could press buttons and they would not do that. Oh, yeah, this is full on action y gameplay. Okay. Oh, 
I mean, it looks fluid, which is nice. It's, it looks very Dragon's Dogma-like, and I'm not a fan personally of that combat. It could be better though, because I have played games where I do enjoy that combat. But this is going to be a very stark change Good. to the Let's other games, to sure. And find Nev. Patch yourselves up if you need it. You are in violation of Imperial Order. I don't get it. If Solus tears down the veil, doesn't that destroy everything? Solus always talked about how beautiful the ancient world was. That world existed before the veil, and he wants to bring it back. So I know the uh, stylized graphics are going to cause a lot of contention with people. Now, whether or not you like the style, it does look nice in terms of like details. Whether or not you argue it suits a Dragon Age game is a different topic, but graphically, it does look nice. I'm hoping we see more than just Minratos, though. Looks like the Venatori put up a barrier to block the way. More intruders! Avenge our fallen brethren! Alright, well, we'll get the little line so you can see where the arrows are going to go, so that's interesting. What I will say is that this dual wielding rogue combat does look better than Inquisitions. And I like the fact that you aren't limited to either dual wielding or a bow. You can use both. I like that a lot. That feels a lot more Origins like. Oh, come on. Guess we're sliding down. Well, at least there's snow animation. <laughs> Are they Red Templars? Venatory Soldiers, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, they're still around, which is nice. Got that familiarness from uh, Inquisition. Now, my guess is that Varric is actually going to die. That's my hot take. I think Varric is going to be the Duncan of this game. Which is why he's not a playable companion. Or, I say playable companion, why he's not a companion. So I'm assuming that this combat system is going to upset a lot of people and make a lot of people happy. Um, so far, it's not my favourite. I would prefer a more akin to a Inquisition style combat. But... I'm not unhappy with this combat. It's it's different to Dragon Age, but it's not bad. What upsets me the most is not being able to use your companions. Varric, Harding. Not the worst timing. Okay, an Ice Mage. Okay. Nev, it's so good to see you. We thought the Venatori had kidnapped you. They thought the same thing. A lot of Venatori in the city have reason to hate me. Figured I'd play along. I doubt he wanted to settle the score this time. Did she have one leg? Started raining demons. So I'm back on the job. Those flame graphics are rough. This is Nev Gallus, our local expert. She's gonna help us find Solus. Nev, meet Rook. Both of you have done some work for the Shadow Dragons. Isn't that a coincidence? Some old friends said if I was working in Tevinter, the Shadow Dragons are worth trusting. Hmm, I wonder who he's referring to. We haven't got a lot of time. Varric said you had a lead on Solus. You get right to the point. I wonder why Rook has an interest in stopping Solus. Like, what's I our motivation? Solus in person, but I did find hints of old magic, similar to what you get in Elven ruins. I traced it to a building beneath Our Lady of Victory. That's where your man is hiding. Then let's go. Before this ritual he's doing gets any worse. Worse? This ritual's already drawing more power than I'd expect from a dozen mages. You told me he was working alone. 
I also told you he was an ancient elven god. An elven god? Well, whatever he is, he's causing trouble in my city. Let's go. Dean discovers Solus's hideout and an alluvian gate, the portal he's used to escape the city of Minrathos. They step through the gate. Okay, so we're advancing a bit. This will be the true test of the style and the tone, I think. Well, we're not in Minrathos anymore. I know these trees. This is Arlathan Forest. And there's your ritual. The power involved. I've never seen anything like it. The tremors are getting worse. Okay, that looks cool. A spectre like thing. And we've got demons. So I'd assume we're probably now like level two-ish. Yeah, the biggest thing about the combat that upsets me personally as a fan is that we can't control the companions. I really enjoy sometimes switching up the gameplay. And like, even though in Inquisition I'd be a mage, sometimes it was really nice to play as Varen as the archer or Blackwall as the uh, sword and ball. So, that's probably the biggest thing with the combat that I'm not a fan of, is that you can't control the companions. And obviously they announced that anyway, so that's not a spoiler going into this. But I think if you could control the companions... The, bad back in the Fade's a mess this close to the ritual. No telling what could come through. And that would make me enjoy this combat a hell of a lot more. Like those tremors are getting worse? Keep moving and try not to think about it. The team battles their way deeper into our Arlathan forest until they arrive at Solus's ritual site. Okay, we've got a pride demon. demon quickly. Okay, so we've got a bunch of new abilities. I wonder if with the rope you have different styles on this. So it looks like we're using lightning blades. Almost. I wonder if there's like a fire or an ice type version. Okay, it looks like there's parrying. Maybe dodging? I can't quite tell. Yeah, it looks like there's dodging. Okay. It's very action. Very, very action. I think though, if you take away it's a Dragon Age game, or meant to be a Dragon Age game, whatever way you sort of stand on the fence, it does look like a pretty game. Uh, now you can argue whether or not that's good for the tone of the game. But it has got that sort of like stylized like League of Legends esque vibe to it, uh, which I do think is inevitable. But I would love a more dark and gritty tone like Origins, but I think that's kind of a far cry now that I say now that. But after EA took over, it was always going to try to appeal to a more mass smart audience. It's a pride demon. Damn thing probably sent Solus's ego. <laughs> I really hope they show off the class system. So I wonder how the warriors and stuff work. Can you do sword and board and two-handed? Everyone all right? Good enough. Let's get to Solus. Yeah, I really hope Rook has a good reason for being so involved because. It seems a little weird how he's so into stopping Solus already, and we're still level 1. And I wonder how that ties into the, uh... I'll take it from here. Are you sure? Positive. You three just keep the demons off me while I talk to him. Varric, Solus isn't gonna stop just because an old friend asks nicely. 
Solus needs someone to sell him another option to help him justify changing his mind. <laughs> Varric is so going to die. Varric is definitely the Duncan of this game, I've called it. Come on, Varric. We didn't come all this way just to talk to him. He was my friend, Rook. I gotta try to reach him. But if he won't listen to me, then he'll hear from Bianca. Alright, so let's see how Solus looks now. I think in this style he's either gonna look really good or very, very cartoony. Take care of the team for me. Hey, Chuckles. Hope I'm not interrupting. Okay, not too bad. Let's buy him some time. All right, Rook, do your thing. Did it looks like we've got like the Spider-Man, Batman, Arkham dodge system. We can't hold these demons off forever. But did he little yellow and white parts around his head? Yeah, I think we do. I think we've got the Arkham style dodge system, which I do like. Don't get me wrong, but I do think it is becoming very overused. Such a long ass monologue. I have taken precautions to minimize the damage, Varric. Minimize the people are dying right now. You need to listen. Please. Oh, poor Bianca. People are always dying. It is what they do. Shit. We need a better plan. Do you want me to take the shot? Won't work. He's too powerful. What if we disrupt the ritual? How? See those statues? If we break the scaffolding holding that one up, the whole thing will come down on Solus. It's risky. Interrupting a ritual at this scale will have consequences. And what about the demons? Varric needs us to hold them off. Right, you two stay here. I'll bring down the statue. What? No. Stepping into all that raw magic is suicide. The storm could tear you apart. Anyone got a better idea? Never split the party. Fine, but you'll need backup. I'm with you. I'm a mage. I'll go. Either way, someone needs to stay back and deal with the demons. Choose wisely. Your decision will impact your companions. Ooh. I would also bring Harding. Nev, keep the demons off us. You got it. From a roleplay aspect, I imagine a mage would probably be able to hold off a horde of demons better than an archer. For longer, at least. Alright, so what's everyone's thoughts so far? Let me know in the comments what we're thinking. Are we liking the new combat? Are we not a fan of it? I think it's been so long since the Dragon Age Origins have come out, and Dragon Age 2 and the Inquisition, that it was inevitable that they'd modernise everything. Damn, that broke easy. <laughs> Why? Why tear down the veil? Knowing all the lives it'll cost. We shared a journey years ago. Do you believe that I would do this if there was some other better option? The pillar's weak, but... It isn't falling. We need to push it. I'm with you. Together, now! You came a long way and made a valiant effort, Varric, but this story does not end with my downfall. I wonder what the gap between years are in Trespass and this. Because he said years, so I'm assuming it'd be like... 
Oh, come on. So I'm assuming this is what makes the world go crazy. I'm assuming that's what messes everything up. Okay, that was it. Okay, let's break this down slightly. So, let's dip in. And I will talk through some of my actual long thoughts. So, we saw this yesterday. Now, they announced that there's six backgrounds you can choose from when making your rook. It's said that this is from the Shadow Dragons. Um, so I wonder how the others tie into this opening. Because I would assume if this is Act 1... Or sorry, if this is Level 1, there's no, like, origin to play through. <clears throat> My first thought yesterday when we heard about the... Um, what's it called? The backgrounds you could choose, the different factions, that we would have some sort of, like, origin you could early start through. <clears throat> but if this is level one, I assume, regardless, you start in Minrathos. Um, that's the only really thing I can think at this point. Now, style-wise, let's move forward a little bit. Get down. It does have that League of Legends-like feel to it, character-wise. Um, it is very stylized, so I see what people think. I, I do prefer more gritty darker aesthetics, things like The Witcher, um, things less animated and more realistic looking. But, that being said, I could get behind this quite easily um, if the gameplay and the story is good. Now, when it loads, we come to this. And they're slipping through the traps. There are a few janky animations. Um, now, obviously, they've still got time to do all this and whatnot, so I'm not too worried. But the flames and the fire look a little rough, I won't lie. Not the best, but I've still got months until this comes out. I'm surprised there was no release date announced, though. That really surprises me. I thought that's what we'd see for sure. Um, but yeah, it's the small things like this. It just looks very... Pixar y and animated. It looks like this has come from a Pixar movie, like Up or Sank, um, or like the character credit from Hero Forge. And I think that's what people's biggest gripe, and mine is as well. I could easily get behind this aesthetic, um, depending on, like I said, how the rest of the story is and if it works throughout the whole of the game. Um, I do think this is going to be a style that will make the sort of premise of the end of the world and everyone's scared a little bit more difficult to portray. But if they do it, fair play to them, and I'll be the first to say that they smashed it. Um, but I do think you get that feeling of dread and it's us against the world with a grittier aesthetic. And I don't, I'm not talking like Red Dead 2 graphics type thing. But something more akin to The Witcher, that type thing. You're safe now. Let's move forward a little bit. The dialogue will, and now I hate the A2's dialogue will. The reason being is you would press one thing, and what you press is kind of different to what Hawk would say. I'm assuming they've probably fixed it up by now. Um, so this will definitely make a lot of people happy. And I do assume we have the sort of personality that we get with Hawk. Out here. And a lot of demons. Haven't seen this many come through the fade in years. Just wait until we get to dialogue wheel again. And what about you two? Are you okay? So you see you got the thumbs up. You've got this, I would assume, questioning, and then you've got the angry, sort of stern. I'm assuming that will play into Rook's personality and how their voice sounds and how they act over time. Um, so that's... I can get behind that, giving a blank slate a bit more personality while also still being our character. I'm quite happy with that. I just hope that the dialogue will work much better than it did before. We're good, but we need... Not surprised our detective did something to piss off a cult of murderous blood mages. It's always nice to hear Brian Bloom. Stinks. The bar owner said the 
Now, uh, this, as I mentioned while we were watching it, I like that you can use the bone arrow and the dual wield now. That was sorely missed in Inquisition, in my opinion. Um, I wonder, like I said, I wonder if you can use sword and board and two-handed with the warrior. The mage will always just be a staff, but I wonder if you can sort of pick and choose your uh, affinity, I guess. So that's, yeah, I don't mind. Actually, I quite like that, to be honest, because if you want to be a rogue, and I love my rogues, I like the option to be able to switch between. Even when it comes to things like D&D &D and stuff, I always have a bow and arrow and dual wield, and I balance my build out to accommodate both of those instead of being too heavily focused on one or the other. So I can get behind that quite easily. Venatory. Now the combat. Let's just turn this down for a second. The combat. This will upset a lot of people. Um, I think this does show that they are moving away from a typical RPG, and they've definitely moved away from a typical CRPG. I think we saw that beginning with Dragon Age 2, honestly. Um, I would quite happily not have a dodge system. Um, I would have happily had Inquisition's combat, because I really like that. I'm kind of over, personally, the whole Batman, Spider-Man dodge system. Um, it would definitely make gameplay more fluid and probably a lot more uh, involved and fun. But I'm assuming it would probably take away some of the tactical aspect of the game. And that's, as a gamer, I kind of prefer the tactical aspect. Um, but I think probably as a broader audience, this is going to appeal way more to them. Um, I mean, look at games like Final Fantasy, where they've moved from turn-based to... And more actually over what 20 odd years so yeah i'm not surprised they've gone this it's probably still going to be good it does look very fluid it does look very fun not a combat system i would have chosen personally um but not one that i'm going to totally rule out either i think this will definitely be suited more to a rogue from the looks of it i wonder how a sword and board would play in this style and i wonder how a mage is going to work in this style because this fast, fluid dodging seems very roguelike, so yeah, I'm gonna. I wish they would have shown that off as well. Um, which does bring me to my next point: not being able to control the companions. I love being able to control the companions. I said this before. I think one of the best things for me in Dragon Age Inquisition was being able to mix up my playstyle with my Inquisition by having my Mage Inquisitor. But then also looking at being Sarah and playing with the bow, because I love the bow the uh, bow gameplay. Turning to Black and Cassandra and using the sword and board and playing with that for a little bit, just to make each, or not to make each, but to help break down the combat and trudging through some of the open world aspects a bit more fun for me. So I'm, I, it's a big shame that they've reduced it to two companions and that you can't control them. It's very Mass Effect like, which... Again, I think eventually you were probably going to see Bioware mix their Mass Effect and Dragon Age gameplay styles to be more alike so that they can just work on it more harmoniously between groups. It's going to take some getting used to. I'm not going to... It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad at all. Um, it's just it's very different. And I think different can be good, but different does take a while to get used to. So that's my thoughts on that. Now, if we advance a bit, once it loads. So if we advance a bit, we get to places like this. Now, this does look pretty. It does have that dark and gritty feel, but it does still have that stylized look. Um, again, I think this is something that's going to take some getting used to. I do think this looks more dark fantasy than, say, the Arlathan. Was it Arlathan? Whether in uh, Inquisition, where you go and you discover the ancient elves and the Morrigan or the Inquisitor can drink from the well. Um, and this definitely has that more dark fantasy vibe to it, but the lighting and stuff than that area, that was very high fantasy-like. But the style does kind of take away from me a little bit from it being the darkness and meant to be like the horror and the grittiness. But again, that is probably something that will come with time. Um, I kind of wish we saw other areas like Weiss Up, something like that, just to show off how this style works in different locations. Now, it's interesting that the Pride Demon seems to be infused with magic, I'm guessing because it's from the Fade. Um, it doesn't look bad. It definitely looks different. doesn't look bad. And I think have not changing the Pride Demon a little bit to be more, like, Fade magically was never going to happen because they're coming from the Fade. And this game, 
has a far bigger focus on magic than, say, an Origins or even a 2. Um, so I think that was inevitable, so I'm not griping about that at all. Um, it does look very clean. Very, very clean. Now, I'm still calling it. I reckon Varric dies. That's just my guess. I think Varric is going to be the the uh, Duncan in this game. I think his death is what's going to trigger everyone to come together and try and defeat Solus, or whoever the big bad is after Solus, because I get the feeling Solus is not going to be the big bad guy by the end of the game. The voice actor for Rook sounds really good, but I don't think it suits a young-looking dude. Um, it sounds more like akin to someone that looks like a Varric, older, a bit more gritty and whatnot. So I'm assuming we'll probably have more options for voices. Um, if not, that I do think with that type of voice, I will be railroaded into making an older looking character, which isn't the end of the world. But if the game sort of ex talks to you like you're a young person, then it's going to kind of break the immersion a little bit. But that's small little nitpickies. Now, poor Bianca, we just saw get destroyed. That's... I don't think, again, Varric I think is going to die, so that's not going to matter too much. But poor, poor Bianca. And then we get two. This. And I am assuming that this big old green portal being broken is what starts all the demons and shit just piling out yeah, from the fade into the world. I'm hoping it's not like Inquisition where you just roam around the open world and there's just demons everywhere and you have to close fade rifts and sh crap like that. Um... I'm hoping it's a bit more linear in terms of like a Origins and a 2 where you have these set missions and there's demons within the missions, but you're not just sent out to close or to stop demons here, there and everywhere, that type of thing. Overall, definitely looks better than the character, com uh, the companion dialogue thing. Yeah. I wish we saw more. or well, not more. I wish we saw um, different stuff, shall we say. I wish it wasn't just all focused on this area. It would have been nice to see others. But again, we they will drip feed us this over time, I imagine. So I'm not too worried. Um, I mean, even if I hate the look of this, I'm still going to buy this game day one. I'm still going to stream it day one. That's out of the question. I'm more sold on it than I was. I'm still not quite there. But that's the personal preference thing. Um... The star is what's the star in the comments. What's going to take the most getting used to for me? The story seems like it's going to be really good. I'm not worried about the story. Um, some of the dialogue from the companions did seem a little on the brow. The whole "I'm with you" and stuff, a little cheesy. Could do without that, but again, that's small little things. I would say I'm definitely more excited now than I was when we saw the companion trailer. I still need to see a bit more though to fully sell me that this is going to be the Dragon Age experience that I've been waiting for. So let me know what you think below. Um, did you like this? Do you like the combat? What don't you like? What do you like? Are you going to buy this day one? Are you going to wait for more? All that fun stuff. Uh, if you haven't already, please drop the episode a like. Helps me amazingly. Subscribe to the channel if you're new, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.